Fun. Oh, hi! Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. I am Amy Ferguson, lead trainer at Canines Unleashed, and this is Yogi. And we wanted to talk to you today about how to properly meet and greet dogs. One of the first things that we teach the kids that come out here to our dog training camp is how to meet and greet dogs appropriately. I find it extremely important that we teach the next generation how to respect the dog's space. Oh, I'll respect that. He doesn't want to be here anymore. He can leave. That's just fine. Bye, Yogi. One of the things that we do is teach the kids, first of all, simply be calm, cool, and passive and ignore the dog. This is extremely hard for humans, just to ignore the dog and simply be in the dog's environment. What happens is this allows the dog the time to get to know you. And if the dog comes up to you and they give you all the cues and the signals that they want you to engage with them, by all means, they have given you the invitation. When you approach a dog and they're not comfortable with it, things go wrong. So please be very respectful to the dog. Understand dog language. Often we see humans so excited to see a dog, they get up there and they go, oh my god, I love you so much. Our voices squeak, we get right in their face, we give them no personal boundaries whatsoever. You can see them pull back in their collar or go, oh, I don't like this, it's too much. They're telling you these things. You can look at dogs' tails for communication. Are they relaxed? Are they tight? Are they tucked under? Dogs move their head. One of the main things that we want to teach the kids when they're out here at a camp, when we learn about interacting with dogs appropriately, is not to hug the dogs. Typically, the children would like to come in and they squeeze. Dogs don't hug. Dogs don't like hugs, and a lot of times they'll pull back. And they say, their eyes get really big, and they look around like, somebody help me! I'm being hugged! I don't hug! Humans, we shake hands, we hug, we kiss, we do high fives, fist pumps. This is how we meet and greet. Dogs, you know how they meet and greet? Mm. They smell. Where do they smell? We all know where they smell. Those private places. And so it's very important that they smell us. Allow them to smell you without approaching them. A lot of people go in and they touch the dog over the top of the head, right here. Have you ever had a dog do this? or snarl at you, run away, show the teeth. This means I don't like that. It's a very dominant position on the dog and a lot of people do not know that. If you can let them smell you first, you're calm, you're cool, you're steady, you're not moving in towards their space, they're gonna be so much happier and you're gonna gain a friend a lot faster. And the person just dives in and says, oh, yo, where are you going? I'm gonna start over. That's not very special. Can you sit this way? <laughs> Yogi and I want you to know the best way to meet and greet a dog is to simply be cool, be calm, be passive. For those of you that like to run up on dogs and go, Oh my gosh, you're adorable! The dogs go, Oh, you're a bit much. I don't want to do this. What do I want to say? 